Hello all you beautiful people of YouTube and welcome to the first proper video here on our new channel Omniscient Gaming. I'm John and I'm working on this joint project with my friend Seth where we'll regularly be uploading various gaming videos for you all to hopefully enjoy. So without further ado let's get right into it. Just like many of the rest of you I am going to be cheering on England uh, from my living room this summer at the World Cup. I'm hoping that Roy's boys bring football home. So what I'm trying to do this series is hopefully do the same in Football Manager. I'm going to go through the qualifying campaign or what's left of it and then hopefully on to Brazil and hopefully on to Glory. So here goes the first episode. Hope you enjoy. So yes, here we go. I've been appointed as England Manager. And the FA have indicated their expectations that I qualify easily for the World Cup. I've succeeded Roy Hodgson and been appointed as manager, earning 59000 a week. So my first game, as you can see, is against Bulgaria. Um, just a bit of a welcome to the England setup, some background minor details. I've got some tactics prepared. The first one is this uh, narrow 4 one 2, one two with attacking fullbacks. I'm going to use this against lesser teams, hopefully score plenty of goals like Liverpool did. Uh, my second tactic is going to be a narrow 4-2-3-1, just like Arsenal use. Um, and then my third tactic, which I'll never use, this is the Hodson. It's very defensive, it's got one striker. It's probably Danny Welbeck. Fixtures, Bulgarian are friendly, then Ukraine, San Marino, Moldova. Here's the group. And um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just take a look at our fixtures. It's San Marino, Moldova, Montenegro left to play. Should be fairly easy, but uh, yeah, let's let's skip ahead to to those games then. Okay, so some time has passed now, and uh, I have to submit my score for the friendly against Bulgaria. So we've gone for Butland, Hart, and Ruddy as our keepers. The defenders are Beans, Cahill, Jackie Elka, Johnson, Jones, Shaw, Smalling, and Walker. Midfielders, Barkley, Carrick, Gerrard, Henderson, Lalana, Milner, Chamberlain, Sterling, Walcott and Wilshire. And our only two strikers are Rooney and Sturridge. So just let me pick the team here real quick. Um, we've gone for the 4 one 2, one two And in goal we have gone for Joe Hart with Gary Cahill and Jaggi Elke in centre-back. Wing-backs of Walker and Baines with Gerrard in the defensive midfield role. Then the two centre midfielders, Wilshire and Jordan Henderson with Lallana playing the attacking playmaker role in behind Rooney and Sturridge. On the bench you've got Glenn Johnson, Chris Smalling, Phil Jones, Michael Carrick, Walcott, Sterling, Alex Oxley, chamberlain Barkley, Milner and Luke Shaw who's hoping for his debut so let's see how the match goes. We are about to start here against Bulgaria. Um, proceed to match yes. We're just loading up here. Uh, there's the teams. I don't really know anyone from Bulgaria. Martin Petrov, maybe. That's about it. Uh, so we're the favourites. We're expected to win, of course. It's Bulgaria. Um, assistant. You can take care of those tactics. And I'm going to say to the lads that your place is up for grabs, so show me what you've got. Nope. Gary Cahill and Cal Walker are not happy, but let's get going anyway. So we kick off, but uh, 23 minutes in, things go a bit badly and they get the opening goal with Mikansky. Never heard of him but it's 1-0. Not for long though. They go on an attack. Cahill makes a good interception. Ball breaks. We lose it. Walker loses it and then they attack again so it's looking a bit grim. Cahill wants again. Blocks it out. Lalana to Rooney. Plays it through for Sturridge and bang back of the net. So that's 1-1. One, one. In the 33rd minute so well, at least we weren't behind for too long. Um, Joe Hart doing some fancy footwork up field. Loses it, but Jaggi Elka and Gerard make a recovery. Wilshire gives it. Lalana plays a nice ball to Baines, but it's a good save by the keeper. So we go into the break. It's 1-1, one, one, and I say, lads, that's unlucky so far. You've gone well. And um, everyone seems happy enough with it, but I uh, I make some changes, and they seem to work. Walcott puts a good ball in, and Jaggi Elka hits the post straight away then Joe Hart look at that monstrosity kicked by Joe Hart Walcott challenges the header with Minev who gives an elbow in the face to Theo Sterling nice crossing for Oxford Chamberlain 
first touch lets him down, but he gives it to Gerard, and Walcott finds himself one yard out. He's missed. Gerard with the rebound. It's nicely saved by the Bulgaria goalkeeper. So, wasted chances there by England, and a good tackle by Luke Shaw, and a good save by Joe Hart. We have to thank for that. Um, Bulgaria start to pile on the pressure. They whip in a corner. Um, but again, Joe Hart to the rescue, and that's they get another corner of course but um finally we head this away oxley chamberlain getting back and doing his bit in defense and that's the game one one a draw with bulgaria we and rooney man of the match but to be honest i'm not happy with that that's not good enough if that happened in real life the england fans would be well on my back so i say yeah that's a friendly but improvement is needed and the lads they're not happy with it it's annoyed them but to be quite honest I don't care because it was a poor, poor performance by the boys and um, much better will definitely be needed in future if we are to qualify for the World Cup and um, go on and hopefully win it. But um, yeah, some other friendlies that we don't really care about. We're just going to our fixtures. Our next game is against Ukraine in 32 days. So we will end this episode for now and continue the official matches in our next episode. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, then give us a like, subscribe, and the next episode will be out soon. So thanks for watching. See you later.